Hello everyone, my name is The Hooded Man and welcome back to Vampire Part 2. Title. Sorry for the wait there, let's begin. Let's go. Vampire. Peter T2. But this time it'll be much shorter. I'm gonna cut the time in half, or maybe at least shorten it down to 10 minutes per episode. Because I want to make sure that each episode is full of life. <coughs> Unlike. The last one, where, while I was editing it, it had, it had absolutely no life. So for the time being, currently, where the heck am I? Alright. Mwah! Beautiful. I need to speak with the locals. Hello, sir. We're gonna skip Sabrina. Instead, let's talk to this fine gentleman. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow. You look like you need a drink. <laughs> yes. I apologize for my outfit. I bloody it's well been, need to. It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. I think I already have enough questions for that one. Fatigue. I can cure this man of this fatigue. Sadly, I do not have the materials for such, so I'm not gonna do anything for him. Set us off this fine gentleman. Oh God, sir. You look Tom. Like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. I have no idea what that drink? means. No, thank you. You I'm just not... said you were thirsty, man. Well, What's wrong with you? Get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Ah. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. We paid for the entire week. I need to meet this man. I have questions. I have several. Climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Understood. Let's not waste any more time. Hey, you! This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> Are you certain? Hey, what happened to the music? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Bust that door then. No, wait, never mind. Slowly, vampire. Who are oh, you? In, the, in the name I of mean, Jesus. No, Sayeth the vampire. <laughs> Sayeth the vampire. <laughs> I compel thee. I need a word. Anyone. The power of Jesus compels you. He just drops the cross, oh. just like that. Just, just like that. Well, that's something I can do for you. All right, bloody well, let's go. My man's in a rugged shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah not look, you're not looking fine, my friend. Jonathan, you're not, look, you're not looking fine. <laughs> and who might you be? It's of no consequence who I am. But why you are here is certainly of consequence, don't you think? Damn. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. <laughs> Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. Oh. You seem the expert. How would that be? I have my secrets, as you have yours. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. Damn. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on.
And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Really? Come on, bro. What do you what know? You uncovered concerning the murders. It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is. <coughs> How different. A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground and quickly. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Yeah. Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Dang it, bro, really? Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Oh. That sucks. Then help me find the culprit. If I may, if you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. Oops. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. What? No. I will find the monster. Yeah. He is mine. Yeah, we're gonna kill this monster. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I'll end him. Yeah. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Alright then. I shall take my leave. Good day. Goodbye. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Evening, sir. Sabrina. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Yeah. Well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? Yeah. I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, be aggressive. It's Will. William Bishop. Okay, never mind. She really did say the truth. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until, Until tonight. tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. All right. Let's talk to Tom. Oi. Tom. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I yeah. can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. It's a vampire you've been forced to send to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Well, Tom Watson, I am a detective vampire. I sound ridiculous. Goodbye, Mr. Watson. That's not what I meant. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. You Come back. What can I do for you? Yeah. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. <laughs> Whoa. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he liked to talk to me outside. And then he left when I refused. Mm, suspicious. Nah, let's go find I him. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? 
He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Gotcha, fam. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Oh, he's dead. This man was armed. He tried to defend Oh, never himself. mind. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Was he a hunter or was he uh What's this? Some sort of I already forgot the I already forgot the person's name. From an orders. That's in the docks region. Well, we'll get the beast and pretty quickly. Very violent. These men, blood and ah. empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. <laughs> Move on. Yes. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Opportunity attack. That and loot. <laughs> Ammunition crate. Yeah, you, you ain't gonna notice me. I'm like over here. No, nope. no, nope. really. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Anyone else want to try me? Come now. Is this hard difficulty? Open it. <laughs> Very simple. Ah. I'm not dead yet, my fool. Ah, I don't have any more stamina. Ah. No, I'm not. Yet. <laughs> Your dodging does not matter to me. <laughs> Such an easy game. Oi. <laughs> Look at the scraping. Ooh. And he's down for the count, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the delicious rats. Give me thine rats. That is disgusting. I should stop. Seriously. Oh, what is going on? Oh. Sorry, fella. Right, where is the workbench? Here it is. Alright. Uh, I guess... That's it for today. Yeah. This one. Well, I guess that's it for today. I mean, I've been playing for too long now. Sorry, 17 minutes. Well, uh, for my time at the moment. So, I guess that's it for now. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm not gonna upgrade anything. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Very well.